Peggy 18. The elite operators of the U.S. Special Operations community are tasked with only the most difficult and dangerous missions. The subject featured in the following interview operated within this community and acted as a consultant on the development of Medal of Honor. Their identity has been concealed for security purposes. I had a teacher, you know, in high school reading about history, and I remember telling her, because I was a kind of a smart ass, and I told her, I don't, want, I don't want to read about somebody else. I want to make history. I want to do it. The kind of character traits that a tier one guy needs to possess, obviously the physicality, he's got to be in good shape. He doesn't have to be the strongest guy, but he's got to be the guy that probably is a well above average. Intelligence-wise, they got to be smart guys. In the big army, you're more of a hammer. It's a large instrument. When you start talking about the tier one elements, it's much more of a scalpel approach. You're trying to do something very surgical. You're trying to do things with the most precise element that you can bring to bear. And a lot of times that can be just a single tier one operator. No telling what he had to do to get to that point so that he could go through that door so that he could confront a guy with a gun who wants to kill him. And he is going to try to, in a very surgical method, apply the very precise amount of damage to the bad guys without inflicting any damage on the hostages that may be in there. He's risking his life to save somebody else's life. He's doing it at great risk to not only himself, but his teammates. I would rather take a bullet myself than do something stupid that resulted in one of my buddies getting shot. I wish that the public in general could have an understanding of what guys do. Not just what they do operationally, but what, what they sacrifice for years and years and years in order to be the guy who is at the tip of the spear. For me, I'm not a very sociable person, to be quite honest, ask my wife. I don't consider a lot of people friends, but if you're any innocent person that's in harm's way, we wanted to be the guys that came and tried to do their best to stop the bullying.